So next Friday I won't be live. Um, I'm going to be off at church uh, with my family, but uh, um, I will post a video still as well. So um, I still will be here, but it won't be live. Uh, <laughs> so, um, I hope you are all going well. And today I wanted to share with you, there was a bit of excitement happening yesterday with Stampin' Up! because they've released the new colours. They're doing a colour refresh this year. Uh, with the annual catalogue that comes out at the beginning of May. Um, and so they actually let the demonstrator base know uh, what colours they were retiring and what colours they were bringing in. Um, and so I don't have a slide of what's actually coming in, um, but I will share a video of the colours that are coming in uh, that they shared with us yesterday. Um, but I will show you the colours that are retiring. Um, and so if there are things that you want um, in the mini catalogue or the annual catalogue, it is best to buy stuff now um, while you can still get it. Um, once we hit the 4th of April, there will be some discounts on products. However, um, they're not going to guarantee anything. Uh, so if something's on uh, low inventory right now, the likelihood is it's going to sell out. So if there are stamp pads or re-inkers or anything that you'd like to get your hands on before they retire, before they're gone. So a lot of people love soft succulent and evening evergreen. They are definitely going, they are definitely retiring um, in from this catalogue. So if you love those colours, I love those colours and I'm a bit sad that they're going, but change is always good. So, um, well, most of the time change is good. <laughs> in this instance, well, yeah, it, it, it's still a good thing because we get some new colours and that's always fun. It's always fun to get new colours. Um, so <laughs> I will share with you the colours that are definitely going. Um, so let me get you to overhead camera. There we are. So don't forget, I've got my um, March host code still for my birthday, my 50th birthday. I turned 30. Uh, I turned 30. I turned 50. <laughs> I wish I turned 30. I turned 50 at the beginning of March, on the 3rd of March. So um, I have a special going for March. If you use this host code and you spend $50, you'll get a pack of champagne rhinestones um, for free from me. And if you spend uh, $100, you'll receive the rhinestones and a pack of black matte dots and 150 you get the ribbon as well as the two embellishments and I have just realized once I've been saying that that I left some embellishments behind for my cards today um, so, so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just show you so these are the colors that are going oh it's gonna be a bit tricky isn't it because I need something underneath to stop it from there we go so we have Mary Merlot, uh, So Saffron, Rich Razzleberry, uh, let's go just the normal colours, oh, two yellows, two burgundies, um, and then we also have Pacific Point, Pear Pizzazz, Mint Macaron, Sahara Sand, this one I'm a bit, I'm quite sad about. I love Sahara Sand. Soft Suede. Blushing Bride. Bermuda Bay. Um, now B B Bermuda Bay is a favourite of mine. These two are probably my favourites that are actually going out of all of them. Um, I do like Mint Macaron, but these two, yeah, I really do love these two. Um, and then obviously in colours you've got Polished Pink, You've got Pale Papaya, Evening Evergreen, and Soft Succulent. So these are all the colours that are actually going. The colour that is staying from the end colours is Fresh Freesia. So Fresh Freesia is actually staying in our collection, um, and that will be going into, oh, I want to say Subtles but I can't recall off the top of my head. Um, but I'm going to just leave that there while I grab my embellishment tin so I can actually do some embellishments for my cards. So these are the colours that are going. 
which yes it is sad morning elizabeth <laughs> morning michelle yes it's um it is bit, it is a bit disappointing um but yeah these are the colors that are going so um but there are some beautiful colors coming um to join the collections as well as some colors that are returning which is very very exciting I don't know if I can find the colors quickly um, <laughs> because I keep um yeah I'm not sure if I can find them easy enough um <laughs> to show you but these are the colors that are going there are lots of there are some beautiful colors coming coming in the in colors that are coming in um are really beautiful I, I do love the colors and then they go beautifully together um so let me just clear that off let me just go back to me um so yeah so some of the colors that are actually coming back are things like uh, pretty peacock lost lagoon um berry burst i'm going off the top of my head so i'm not going to remember them all um obviously fresh freesia um oh what are some of the other ones um ah yeah i can't I, yeah so there's a couple of um uh there's lemon lolly that's a new one that's coming in it's a pale yellow um if i can find maybe if i find the um <laughs> if i find it on youtube that might be the way <laughs> There we go this way no i won't find it on youtube um but yeah there's some beautiful colors coming oh misty moonlight that's true thank you elizabeth yeah misty moonlight's coming back um oh there's a few colors going into the um uh, the neutrals which is a bit different as well so there's some um colors are going into the neutrals which is quite nice um let me just see if i can find it um, 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 um there we go that one the fresh new colors come on so oop, oop. that's color co com combinations lemon lime twist blueberry bushel <laughs> there you go <laughs> elizabeth's helping me on that <laughs> uh there's a new color that's that's that one no no this one no that's just a i'm looking for, for ads but i'm not finding the flyer and stuff so what's in that one um ah uh, no calypso coral staying yeah lemon lo lolly is going mango melody is going lemon lime twist is coming back um oh, pretty peacock lost lagoon mm, berry burst i think i said that already um yeah anyway there's <laughs> there's some beautiful colors coming <laughs> Um, and, and I think you'll be happy with the colors that they've actually got coming back. Um, so that'll be good. <laughs> anyway, um, so today I'm actually going to be playing with the Butterfly Brilliance um, stamp set and coordinating dies. Uh, but sorry, going back to the colors, if there are colors that you want uh, from the retiring ones that you, the, that you would l need to have on um, a permanent basis, um, buy the cardstock, buy the stamp pad, buy the reinker now before they start selling out. Um, I can guarantee reinkers sell out extremely, extremely quickly. So buy them now while you still can, um, because the likelihood of the inks and the stamp pads going discounted is very, very low. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head what um, if there's a discount applied to them, I'm pretty sure they won't won't be because they always are very low in inventory. Um, so just yeah, get your hands on them now while you can uh, before they go. <laughs> that's that's my advice. Um, 
That's my advice to you. So yeah, grab them now while you still can. Uh, I don't want that one. Don't want that one. Don't want that one. Don't want that one. That one. No, don't want that one. Okay. All right. So let's get to crafting. <laughs> Let me go back to overhead camera. There we go. So we're going to be using the Butterfly Brilliance stamp set and coordinating dies. Um, so I've been having a bit of a play with the um, dies this morning. So all of these have intricate uh, dies. Um, and two more. Yeah. And I've been trying to get some, some of the die cuts out as well. <laughs> that one. Uh, I need scissors. Um, so the, yeah, this die set, um, these dies and the, this stamp is actually going. There's only one stamp in the Butterfly Brilliance stamp set. Um, so it's only, only one stamp. Um, but it is a large stamp. The other thing that is actually retiring is the Stamparatus. Um, this tool is actually retiring. Um, once it, it, it's not going to, it's not appearing in the catalogue. Uh, it will go to the online exclusive if there is any stock available. Um, so this 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 tool is amazing. Um, there are so many so many um, great aspects to this tool, uh, and it is it's really disappointing that it's actually disappearing. Um, but they're yeah they're retiring it it is going to be going on to the online exclusive list if there is any stock left so if you haven't got one of these already get it now while it, before it's gone um i don't think they have the extra plates they used to sell the extra plates but i don't think they've got the extra plates uh the grid paper is quite useful even on its own um so this is going as well the magnets are going the um, the foam mat that goes with it that's going as well that's retiring so grab um, grab the um, stamparatus while you can um, my advice to you grab it now <laughs> don't let it go don't let it disappear all right so let's start with um, so I'm going to be using this a fair bit today because it's such a large stamp I'm going to use this um, to do most of my stamping today. Um, so let me get a stamp on there. I'm going to be using some Bermuda Bay. So Bermuda Bay is retiring. So if you like this colour, grab it while you can. I'm just going to ink this one up. And so I've made a bit of a rectangle just to see just so I can see where I want to stamp and then I've just lined up the stamp on top and picked it up with the plate and I'm just doing tone on tone just like that very very simple it's just for background effect um, and I've misplaced all of my cards <laughs> they're there so I've got my Bermuda Bay card base as well over a bone folder. Do you think I can find it? There it is. I can find it. Look at that. <laughs> this is going to be a reasonably simple card. So I'm just going to glue this one down. Just with my seal. I've been working on my retreat projects again. So I was working on retreat projects this week, which is which is lots of fun. 
lots and lots of fun. I ha my retreat starts in two weeks' time. Can you believe it? Two weeks. And just grab some dimensionals. So it is today is the very, very last call if you want to come along to my retreat. I do have a couple more spots left if you'd like to join us. And I have, so I, I found the, um, the shimmer paper that I was using last week. Um, I pulled out the gold of that from that pack this time and thought I would cut out a few of them. Um, and so um, and the gold one. So I'm just going to use some glue dots, which I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I brought over and now I've lost. <laughs> oh, I did bring over some glue dots. I can't find them. Let's use some tape. <laughs> right, I'm just going to do the gold. And I might try and pop this up on a dimensional, actually. Really small dimensional there. small dimensional yeah. okay. and then get out some Bermuda Bay and I pulled out some other stamps that are actually retiring so simply succulents that's going hand drawn dots. I haven't used that one. I was thinking about whether I should use that today. Framed florets. That's disappearing as well. This one, peaceful moments. This one has always been my go-to um, sentiment stamp set. Um, I don't know about you, but this has always been my go-to. So if ever I've gone, oh, I want to stamp, I want to, um, yeah, I want to stamp something. I want to stamp some words. I always pull this one out first and foremost. Um, Paradise Palms, which has been around for a few years. Um, this is actually going, this is great for some um, scenic stamps, scenic, scenic cards. And then there's also Inspired Thoughts. Um, and I was thinking maybe I do some in Inspired Thoughts, but I wanted to have a, do a birthday. So I was trying to find a birthday one that would be, oh, that's right. I was going to do Celebrate. There we go. <laughs> that's what I was going to do. I was going to do celebrate. Put one of my blocks out. Um, and I was actually going to do some white embossing. So I realized I didn't plug in my heat tool. So it's going to get a bit loud for a very short time. Oh. 
and my Versamark. And just excuse the noise, it's going to get a bit loud. I've been enjoying heat embossing lately. So I've done some, a bit of heat embossing this week and I've really enjoyed it. It's been lovely. It's nice to get out one of these techniques um, to just play. It's really nice just to get a, get something out just to play with. Um, and I think I'm just going to trim that down. And one of my favourite um, <laughs> banners is just angle. And just, I think I'll just put it, pop it there. <laughs> yes, Elizabeth loves heat embossing. It hasn't, it hasn't usually been my go-to, but this week I have enjoyed getting the heat, heat tool out and just doing some heat embossing. Here we go. So there's one card and I realise I don't have an insert so let me just chop an insert for that one. <clears throat> just 14.3 by 10 centimetres so working in centimetres. So just a very simple celebrate card. There we go. First one. Yay! It's only taken me half an hour. <laughs> All right, my second card. I'm, oh, where is it? There you are. That, that one. Okay, well. I don't think I need embellishments on this one because there's the gold, um, the gold shimmer. So I'll leave it as is for that one. This one, um, so I'm gonna do two cards with this. Once I find the second one, there we go. That one, that one. And just get back to my inspiration. There it is. Um, so I wanna chop this one down. And I've already cut out a couple of um, frames using the rectang stitched rectangles. And so I don't want it larger than this. So I probably want it about 9.5 centimeters by oh, just shy of 13, I think. So 9.5. by, um, where's the five inch sit? Oh yeah, let's do five inches. Um, I'll do that side. Oh, sorry, just adjust myself. 
adjust my chair. So I want to stick that one down there. I'm just putting some double sided some adhesive on the ed on the frame, hoping to keep it straight and not stick too much to my fingers. Okay, so that one, and then this one, same again. That's not wrong side. There we go. That's probably a bit better, I think. I hope. Okay. All right. And fold these ones. I've just you. I've just pulled out. I haven't actually pulled out my thick whisper white or basic white. I've just pulled out my um, standard basic white. So nothing, nothing special. So you can grab the um, pack of basic white cardstock. You can still use them as card bases. I used we used to use them as card bases before we came out with the thick basic white. I'm um, just going to put dimensionals on the back of these two. Um, they just they just don't have as much weight in the card base. That's all. Um, so it's it's not not a massive issue in the scheme of things. So if you just want to buy the one pack of cardstock um, to do your white stuff, do. Just get it. <laughs> There's often times I won't use the basic the thick thick basic white, I'll just use the standard. These are one of the this is one of the times. Especially since you get 40 sheets in a pack of basic white, standard basic white. And slightly over. Um, and you get 24 in the thick basic white. that way I've got a bit of adhesive around the edge all right and then I'm just going to pull out some of my butterflies I really wish I had found my um, glue dots though that would be helpful right now. Nope, I'm not finding them. Not easily. Oh, there they are. Found them. Okay. So <laughs> I'm looking at doing these should probably be moths really but you know <laughs> I'll work with what I have um, extra bit of white there Okay, I probably want them about there. So, glue dots on the back.
glue dots on the back of these ones. What do you think of this stamp set? Have you got this stamp set already? And how much have you really used it? I haven't used it nearly enough. So when I saw some inspiration this morning, um, I went, yeah, let's, let's get that one out. Let's have a play with that one. So I did, I did obviously pre-cut these just to save a bit of time. All right, so I've got an extra few if I need to. Uh, so I want to grab out, I brought over, I thought, some black, but not enough black. So what have I got instead that I can use? Oh, I might do heat and heat embossing with gold, I think. Um, I'm just going to get rid of the excess white from my tray. Actually, I will go and grab the black because I think the black will be better. But I still might do gold, gold embossing. Just a minute, be back shortly. Okay, so we might do two more celebrates, I think. Embossing buddy. Um, let's just do a third one just to make sure we've got it right. So we use the gold rather than the white. Boss, loud again. Whoop. down a bit first and then I can just wipe the extra powder off on my jeans <laughs> so it's not as noticeable and it's more black <laughs> than, than grey okay So let's trim this one down. And I need my tin. Oops. 
my tin of embellishments. I need those ones. So these are the black matte dots. And I'm just going to put a black matte dot, a large one on the bigger ones. And a small one on the smaller ones. And then I have my celebrate. I don't know, do I want white or do I want the black? I might try white actually. I've just changed my mind. I think that stands out quite well. My celebrate. What do you think? Hmm. It gets a bit lost on that one, so I think I'm going to try and do some white embossing on the black. Because I think the white's going to be a bit better. I think that looks better. <sighs> there we go. What do you think of those ones? So those three. And one another card. This one. So I've got a piece of black, I've got basic white. And then I've got my memento. Whoops, I need to clean that one first. Just get my little my little chamois. Yeah, I think we all sort of, we get to the new stuff and we just tend to play with the new stuff again. 
and forget about the older stuff. <laughs> Basic white, memento black. And don't forget, grab your stamparatus. Buy your stamparatus while you can. And this one, I actually want to put it through the embossing. I, I want to emboss it. Um, I've got time worn. I've got timber. What else did I bring over? I've got my painted texture. Maybe a painted texture might be all right. Let's go with that one. Painter texture. <laughs> yes, I'm. Ex I get excited when new t when things that I've just purchased are still carrying over. <laughs> that is um, a very very exciting thing. <laughs> All right, so painted texture. Yeah, that's not too bad. And then I've got a piece of basic black. The friendly gnomes are retiring as well, which was a bit sad. I do like the friendly gnomes. Um, and let me see. <clears throat> oh, look at my fingers. Bermuda Bay all over them. Um, so that's going to go like that. I don't know if I need a ribbon. <laughs> You're keeping mine. You're keeping yours? Yes. Well, <laughs> what do you reckon? To ribbon or not to ribbon? I can do ribbon. And I could do some extra trim. What else have I got? Ribbon? Okay. Let me see what I've got. I love using different trims. I don't do this all the time. And I can't quite remember. <laughs> I can't quite remember what's what's current at the moment. So I apologize if it's not, but I'm going to try some of the Oops. Some of this one, which is this one? This is the metallic, metallic mesh ribbon. This is really cool. I love the mesh ribbon. I think it's still current in the annual catalogue. I think. And then there's the shimmer ribbon. How about I have a quick look, hey? I should have a quick look. Um, ribbon and white twine. Well, I was thinking the, the the gingham ribbon. I could do a bit of silver with it. Where's my ribbon and twine? Uh, ribbon and trim.
embellishments and ribbon. I'm just looking online really quickly. Ribbon and trim. Show me, show me, show me do. Has the mesh ribbon gone? I know the black and white's still there. The glitty, glittery organdy, or, or, organdy, or, or, or whatever. The silver is co ah, excellent. Both the grey granite still current. Hmm. Okay, let me see what else I've got. I have got the organdy ribbon as well. <laughs> I just keep pulling more and more out, don't I? There you go. <laughs> Some what? No, this is all. This is all um, in the in the current annual catalogue. I'm not even looking at the annual, the new annual catalogue. There's, um, I think, the in colour ribbons are carrying over. The in colour trim is carrying over. Um, that's about all I really recall at the moment. So, <laughs> all right, let's trim off that bit. So I can just use one thing at a time. Still be that. Let's see what I like. Hmm, I think that's going to be too long. Yeah. <laughs> if you have it, just use it, yes. Well, that is true too. <laughs> All right. Now, is that too much? Nope. Oh, no, there we go. Oh, I like that one. Okay, let's leave it at that. It was twisted at the front, so I've um, just de-twisted it. <laughs> I've made put the twist at the back because I'll pop it up on dimensionals, so then you can't really see it. And if you put a dimensional on the ribbon, it's not likely to move. There you go. I like that one. And then I just need a bit of basic white. 
Hmm. Can I use that? Hopefully. Oh, do I want to use that? I probably don't want to use that. No, I don't want to use that one. I want to use this one. <laughs> Oops, that's the score blade. That won't cut. And memento. And what words do I want to use this time? Um, I don't know which words I want to use. Do congratulations. Oh. Can I do thinking of you on your special day? That might fit. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll just have to trim something bigger. go I like that one there you go there's a few stepped up ones now what's the time <clears throat> do I have time for one more that's the question um, maybe Yeah, let's just do one more. <laughs> one more, and I'm going to use uh, basic white. So I prepped everything else. This one is a bit more of a on the fly sort of thing. Um, so I've prepped the other ones. This one, I'm going to trim a piece of basic white to be 10 centimeters by 14.3. And I have a mask whoop, that I'm just going to put over the top and I'm just going to use some um, some of the blends, uh, the blending brushes. And just try and keep it. So this is a sort of bit of a takeoff of the other one, um, the Bermuda Bay one, the first one I did, but in, with a tiny bit of a difference. So that's where I'm, that's where my head is. Uh, you've seen me do lots of embossing, uh, blending brushes and stuff before. Now I did do a stitched circle, so you can actually see a slight stitch around the edge. <laughs> and then I do have the gold shimmer paper again. And I've just got to get a few extra little bits out, out of the thing. This is my last one for today. 
So it's reasonably simple, but you know, um, actually I'm thinking about it, whether I do just do black ink on it. Um, Because if I do a circle, yeah, actually, ha. <laughs> I don't know if I can do this, so I'm going to try. Sorry. Um, so I probably want to do about there. I know this may all go just really badly, so. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. It's just at the very edges of the card. is not perfect but neither am I <laughs> and then maybe I just do Do that. And then we might just do a couple of little matte dots just to cover up that little smudge thingy there that I had going on. Nope. I think I'm going to leave it with that. I'm not going to do any more. You know how sometimes there's a card in your head that you go, yes, I could do that. And then when you start doing it, it just doesn't seem to quite come out the way you want it to. <laughs> That's all right. That's okay. There you go. There's five cards. <laughs> I've made five. Yay. <laughs> it's five more than I had earlier today. I'll just do a quick insert. There we go. All right, done. <laughs> there are my five cards. I'm happy with them. Um, I think this is this is my favourite. I think that's quite pretty. Um, I do love the I love it. Love using extra trim. That's just yeah. I just love that. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've um, been inspired by me again. I hope I inspire you weekly. <laughs> As I said, I won't be here next week. Um, I will do a video. I'll do a pre-recorded video and I'll post that at 10 o'clock on Friday next week because it is Good Friday so I don't want to um, yeah take away from the specialness that Good Friday is to me um, which is um, yeah celebrating 
the death of Jesus and his rising again on the Sunday. Um, so that is me. Um, hi. <laughs> um, so I will be at church on Good Friday with my family to celebrate that. Um, so I hope you have a lovely Easter. Um, as I said, I will post a video at 10 o'clock on the Friday, a pre-recorded one, um, just so I'm still here. And the following week is my retreat. So that may be a recorded video as well, just because I will be getting ready and packing to go down to my retreat. I may, I may decide to still do something and may, I may just do a kit. I don't know. Um, I may just do a kit for the next two weeks. <laughs> Who knows? Um, but uh, just have a look at the retiring list. Um, there is a lot of stuff that's going, a lot of things that are retiring, including the Stamparatus um, and all of the bits and pieces that go with the Stamparatus. Um, the um, Butterfly Brilliance is retiring that I've just used today with the coordinating dies. Uh, so grab your hand, get your hands on them and um, yeah, just... If, if you don't want something to, if you don't want to miss out on something, get it now while you still can. There will be discounts from the 4th of April, but you can't get, I can't guarantee that you'll be able to get it in time and if people haven't already bought it and so, and yeah, it's already been sold out. So especially the reinkers, the stamp pads, the cardstock, they tend to go fairly quickly and are just gone. And then people are sad that they've missed out. Um, so don't let that happen to you <laughs> um it is the last day to order with my host code um and so for the for my birthday special birthday so um don't forget to use that host code as well which you can also find on my blog stampingwithsharon.com.au um that's it for now i hope you have a lovely weekend and a very happy easter next weekend and i will see you in a few weeks time once i'm back at doing my usual facebook lives at 10 o'clock on friday it'll probably be a couple of weeks so was the 21st 21st of april probably um i think that's where i'm going and that's my six, my daughter's 16th birthday party celebration that night um and my 15th celebration of being a step up demonstrator is coming up in may as well so look out for a special promotion at that time 